What's up guys, it's Ryan, and today we're going to be doing um, a different type of tutorial. We're going to be um, making a simple C++ console application. Um, C++ is, I'm not really sure if it's object oriented or not, I'm not really good with like code vocabulary and like, you know, like if someone said make an instance of like um, uh, some kind of variable, I know what that means, but like I'm not really good with vocabulary being the fact that I taught myself but I'm taking computer science this year, so I'm going to learn more about that. So, anyway, besides my terrible personal life, I'm not just kidding. <laughs> we're going to be doing a C++ tutorial. And uh, we're going to be going a little bit out of bounds of Hello World. And we're going to be doing some C outs and some C ins and if statements. So basically, we're going to make a little console game. And um, it's, it's going to be pretty fun. I really like working with C++, even though I've only been doing it a short amount of time. It's, it's just like Objective-C. You'll notice a lot of things similar. You'll notice a lot of things different, and so on. So let's jump right in. I hate when people say that in tutorials, but I, <laughs> I'm catching on. So once it starts, it has int main, and this is like a basic, in, um, like a main method. So there's no there's no headers right now. We're only working with um, just this main file. Um, I'm doing this in Code Runner. It's a beautiful. Oh my god, it's it's so awesome. It's probably the best. Um, I, I don't really want to say it's an IDE, but it is a compiler, and you can program in all these listed languages. For $5, I think it's an amazing application. It's really good for testing out code. So a minute and 38 seconds has gone by, and I've not done a single thing. So let's do this. So basically, if you're not doing this in Code Runner, if you're in Xcode, you're going to want to um, make sure that you do using namespace STD, because then otherwise, if you don't do that, you're going to have to be like STD this, not sexually transmitted disease, but STD, C out, blah, 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 or yeah, controllable. So STD does, it gets really annoying having to type that, so we're going to be able to just do C out and C in. Oh, I love the colors of Code Runner. So this main method might be a little bit difficult. Sometimes maybe you'll see easier things like int main like that. But um, for this case, just leave it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really want to mess with it too much or have you guys mess up your code. So here we go. We're gonna be um, making a simple guessing. Well, not really a guessing game, but we're gonna make a game where they have to, where if they respond yes or no, it's gonna do two different things. So we're gonna do C out. Um, we're gonna do, I guess, a bank. So uh, how about would you like to? I'm not really sure. Let's do if you're walking in the wild. You so okay. You see a man. Would you like to kill him? And then um, you want to end the line, so just do end line. No, no, not that. So then, if we run it, it'll say in the console. Would you like to kill him? We're gonna make um, some things first. We're gonna call it string input and um, int HP. Of course, it's um, you know, most RPG games. But you'll see what we're gonna do. It's actually really, it's actually this will inspire so many people to make games. Like I love console games. So you see a man. Would you like to kill him? And to save some code, we're gonna be doing just a new line. So it's not this normal slash where the question mark is. It's like a on the pipe symbol. It's a slash n. And then you do. Um, I guess we can just do one. Yes. Another line. Two. No. So then finish it off with quotes, and we can end the line. And we can run that, and as you see, it will come up like that. So then we would do cn input. So then what this allows us to do is going to allow us to do input. Blah, 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 blah. And then once it's done, it will return zero, which I will not do until the end. But that's that's pretty much. It's not really important, but I just do it to be safe. So cn input. So then to check if they did yes or no, we would do if input equals equals two quotes yes or input equals equals to quotes yes with capitals because it's not like job where you could do dot equals ignore case it's not like that at all you have to do the maximum so if input yes or yes um c out you killed him um it used negative 5 hp and then other cool things we can do um you now have, and then just put HP and then end line. 
So we're going to have to set a value for, um, what the, f Jesus Christ. We're going to have to set a value for HP. So I guess we can just do an HP equals, um, let's put, I guess, 20. So by default, it will say that. It's not, no one's going to see, no, no one's going to really see this, but I guess we can do a C out real quick and then just say, um, your HP. HP and one. So when it starts up, it's gonna say your HP. So your HP twenty. See, man, would you like to kill him? Yes. You killed him and used five HP. Now you have twenty. But this is the thing. Now you need to subtract that. So you need to do HP subtract five. Oh yeah, we need one more int to make things easier. Final HP. So we get everything into a total. Final HP equals HP subtract five. Simple as that. So then we change this to final HP. You killed him, it uses 5 HP. So then we can do an else if statement. Else if um, input equals equals to quotes no pipe input equals equals to quotes the hell. Damn it. No. <laughs> then we would do C out you decided otherwise. Ooh, my RPG terms. You don't have to end the line all the time, but it's it's in, in some cases it's it's good to do. So no. You decided otherwise. Return zero. It is done. <laughs> so let's do Yes. You killed him, it used five HP, and you now have fifteen. So this is a pretty good um tutorial that gets into this isn't really a hello world, but Hello worlds are way too easy. If you want to do a hello world, it'll take me a minute. All you do, print f, hello world, and I don't think that's worth doing a tutorial. No, you decided otherwise. It's it's like to do a hello world. That's all you have to do. Or if you want to do even simpler, or not really, but just hello world. Simple as that. It's it's really there's really nothing much to it. So, I like I don't I don't really like Hello Worlds because they're just way too easy. I mean, I know I'm not sh I shouldn't be the one talking, but it's it's truly really not that. This isn't if the, this might be um somewhat a um a big leap you could say for beginners, but I think it's a, it's always good it's always good to start out somewhere. So why not learn this? It's a pretty good overlay or um a summary basically of else if if c in c out integers and basic things. Um, I will have another tutorial probably right after this one or in a little bit about a little bit more complex things with more art like console RPG um, attributes. So thank you guys for watching. I love you all.